Moving off campus, Alabama has a rich history in agriculture, but there is one crop the state became known for unexpectedly. Tonight, reporter Bill Johnson takes us to a local farm to learn the importance of peanut farming in Alabama. He ran a farm during my childhood in the 90s in Clayton, Alabama, and I've been around it my whole life. It's something I always wanted to do. Justin Garrett grew up on his father's farm and now has one of his own. I built chicken houses when I was um, out of college and used that to be able to start a row crop operation. On his farm, Garrett raises chickens, cows, and grows cotton. However, there is one crop which has significance in Alabama history, peanuts. Peanut farming in specifically became important for Alabama in the early 1900s when the boll weevils became a huge problem for the cotton industry. The boll weevil is a bug which eats through and lays eggs in cotton plants. When they came to the south over a hundred years ago, they nearly destroyed all of the cotton crop. Farmers then started to rotate growing cotton and peanuts, which slowed down the spread of the boll weevils. It became a very important part of our cash crops and our rotation to help uh, control pests. Garrett says for a time, most of the world's peanuts came from farms in Alabama. Today, peanuts are used to make a number of products. Peanut butter, peanut oils, um, things that we don't think about like candy. For those who want to support local peanut farmers, Garrett says the best thing to do is shop locally. Pay attention to buy locally or at least U.S. grown, Alabama grown if possible. You know, if you can support those industries as much as possible, that's a big help. Bell Johnson, Troy, Trojan Vision News. Every year, the city of Dothan is home to the National Peanut Festival, the country's largest celebration of peanut growers. This year's festival will be from November 1st to the 10th.